when you throw an old lithium ion battery into a recycling plant, recovering those valuable metals, it's a chemical marathon. But the scientists at Rice University, led by James Tour, can do the same job in just a minute. But with a blinding electric pulse that reaches temperatures hotter than a volcanic eruption, instead of slow equilibrium chemistry, they blast the mass with a fast electric pulse. They call this flash jewel heating. And while they shock this mass with electricity, they're exposing the sample to a chlorinating environment. That instant of extreme conditions forces the material into non-equilibrium states, where they behave differently than under slow heating or acid baths, letting you separate the lithium quickly through simple water wash. So the rice method is kind of a physics magic trick. Use time and temperature as control knobs to force a different chemical sorting mechanism than the slow one we rely on. The team reports that graphite, cobalt, and lithium can all be collected with high yield. The paper shows about 85 to 97 percent yields on the key materials and about 99 percent purity on them. And the critical point is time and reagent use. The flash process happens in seconds to minutes, uses much less solvent and reagents, and avoids hours of acid leaching and neutralization. Conventional methods are bounded by equilibrium thermodynamics. Most people don't realize that with this old process, you end up with a fairly substantial amount of material that you just can't separate from the waste. But non-equilibrium forcing can change those rules. You can cheat the limits that equilibrium imposes. That's why the Rice Method doesn't just speed up the old chemistry. It breaks the limit that chemistry puts on the old process by using physics to change the rules.